I'm Dr. Barbara Blackburn, and thank you for giving me a couple of minutes today. I wanted to talk uh, about rigor. What do you think about when you think about rigor? Do you think it's just harder work? Uh, do you think it's only for advanced students? Well, rigor is so much more than that. Rigor is for every single student, and it's more about quality than it is about quantity. So let's look at what real rigor is. Rigor is creating an environment in which each student is expected to learn at high levels, each student is supported so he or she can learn at high levels, and each student demonstrates learning at high levels. So let's talk about those just a little bit. What does it mean to have a rigorous environment? Well, there's several factors, but the main one is it's motivating for students. Because if they're not motivated, they're not going to be motivated to do challenging work. The second part is expectations. We've always known we need to have high expectations for students, but what does that look like in the classroom? Too often, what we think as leaders is, as long as teachers are asking higher order questions, then that's rigorous. But there's a little challenge with that. A teacher can ask a high level question, but accept a low level answer from students. So having high expectations means not only asking those questions, but expecting a high level answer. And if they don't give it, then probing so they can. The next part is scaffolding and support. How do we provide scaffolding and support? Because if we're asking students to do something that's challenging, they need help to get there. If they could get there by themselves, it wouldn't be challenging. So are we modeling our thinking for students? Are we modeling samples of student work? What are the types of scaffolding we're providing? And finally, there's demonstration of learning. In a rigorous classroom, students demonstrate their learning at high levels all the time. They are showing you what they know in challenging ways, more than simply a test. Now, if you'd like to learn more, come join us in October at the Australian Council of Educational Leaders Conference in Sydney, Australia. I look forward to seeing you there.